What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Booth Podcast. My name is Ken, along my co-host. Um, and this is the podcast where we talk about life, love, and deep things you can't talk about with anyone else. If you guys are new here, welcome. Um, we didn't release an episode last week. I don't think so, right? No, we did not. No, we did, no, we not. did not. No. Sorry about that. You know, life gets a little hectic. Very hectic. You know? Very, very hectic. But, you know, that's calm. That's calm. But, um, yeah. Well, well, well before we, we, get, we head into the episode, what's new with you? Oh, can I can I just start with something? Oh yeah, sure. Go I ahead. I just want to because I I could see the number now. I didn't see. Oh. I didn't realize it. I wanted to, we we wanted to thank you guys for one point five thousand subscribers. Thank on you, thank YouTube. you, YouTube. That is awesome. Um, we I I remember we never even thought we'd get to a thousand. So mm-hmm. getting another five hundred of you is always nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. been a, it's been a while. Yeah. You know, um, but what's new with me? Not much. Uh, went to went to my first comedy show, mm-hmm. which is freaking awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, was probably one of the greatest experiences of my life. Seeing Andrew Schultz in person was, I don't know, just phenomenal. Just being it being like my first comedy show, being one of my like if not my favorite comedian um, in the space right now. It was yeah, it was great, and I loved even just the people that warmed up the crowd. The Two openers that were yeah. really great too. Um, oh yes, thank you for reminding me about that. Um, so, if you guys still want to be a part of my film, there is a Indiegogo a campaign where you guys can donate however amount you want um, to help me with production. And also, there are a few benefits like I could send you the script. There are things like being a part of the credits. Um, how high of a role in the credits is up to you, depending on how much you decide to spend. Uh, it's a great story about heartbreak. I mean, who doesn't like a story about heartbreak? Mm-hmm. Um, so make sure you guys go ahead and do that. Uh, I actually have to move shooting dates because of certain actors that I wanted. So there are still there's still lots of time uh, for you guys to go ahead and donate and be a part of the project in any sort of way. So go ahead and do that. I honestly just need a dollar from like, a good, like 600 of people like <laughs> like, <laughs> like that's that's as much as i can i, I yeah. need so go ahead and do that yeah yeah uh click the link in the bio you know in the description below or head over to dom's page to view all the details you know he has a whole video on it um i'll also link that so yeah make sure you guys go take a look for you hopeless romantics yes i feel like you guys are going to resonate with that you know based on hearing the whole thing and like i remember my fragments of memory from like the soliloquy yeah. or the narration it's like yeah it's kind of sad yeah, yeah, yeah. and if you want to get sad during the fall season if no wait sorry i well, think i'm gonna i think i would want to have like an early release date by like valentine's day okay so for all you hopeless romantics that are single on <laughs> valentine's day next year yeah. stay tuned for that yeah, yeah. super that would be super mm-hmm. fun. Uh, anything new with you though yo okay um you know what I did for the first time? What did you do for the first time? I went to the art gallery by myself. Ah. I went alone, bro. And it was I went right before work because I really wanted to check out this um, exhibit, the Wolfgang Tillman's at AGO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, every time I've always wanted to go, it's like, oh, I want to go with the girl. <laughs> okay, okay. You know what's funny? Me I, what I notice is that you always associate wanting to do things with a girl. Yeah, because it's like, it's a cute little thing, you know? Yeah, so I want to enjoy my time with them. But then, fair. yeah, the other, um, when I went this week, I was just like, I really want to go. And the exhibit's about to end in a couple of days. Or right. I really went the day before it ended. Yeah. And what is it, the cause exhibit now? Well, yeah, there's a cause exhibit now? there too. But oh. yeah, I went. It was just like, I was nervous. I go live. I was like, damn, I'm alone. I'm like, this is loner type mm. things. But then I was walking around, like, I'm enjoying this a lot. Yeah. And I'm just like enjoying my peace. I'm like, man, why am I stressing over trying to do all these things like with a person? Yeah. Right? Let alone like a girlfriend or anything like that. And I'm just like, man, I, I was tripping. I was like tripping over nothing. Right. And I'm just like, damn, I got to do things more alone. You know, right now in my stage of life, I'm in my whole like self loving, self care right, right, type, right, type right, of right, thing. Right. right? It's like, I got to learn to be more alone, enjoy it more, mm-hmm. you know? Because obviously, you know, when you're single, it, it, it gets to you, right? Yeah. And no, nah, but I had like a new profound like happiness within being single. It's like, I'm a, when am I, I saw another TikTok. This girl was like, when are you realistically going to have like another time alone? 
Right. Right. Like enjoy this time of like isolation yeah. of peace and alone, alone time with yourself. I'm like, yeah, you know, I was preaching that like years back and <laughs> I didn't, obviously I didn't stick true to it, but now it's like, yo, I got to learn and unlearn a couple things and learn again. Right. So yeah, I'm glad being single, being yeah. single is like helping me enjoy my, my peace and my enjoy, enjoying me, learning to appreciate me more. Yeah. You know, grateful for all of that. Right. And speaking upon like gratitude, um, I was having this talk with my boy and basically we said like, you should learn to appreciate and be grateful for the problems you're going through right now. Mm-hmm. And, and the reason behind that is like a lot of people are going through like possibly worse shit than yeah, you are. Yeah. And that's just, that's just reality of it. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm glad, like though I have problems going on in my life, I'm glad it's those problems. Right. right? Like trying to like prioritize certain things over others. Yeah. Right. Instead of like, you know, worst case scenario, like, like poverty or be, or living on the streets. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm glad that I'm going through this right now. I'm glad that I'm going through like problems. Let's say regarding the booth, like, you know, our lack of like posting, like I'll be, I'll be truthful with you guys. Right. And I'm glad I'm going through that rather than like, you know, something else that's like harming me, like in health. Right. Right. It's like it learned, it helped me like appreciate my life a little more and be more like empathetic and more grateful for all the things going around me. Right. And it's being grateful for all the things you have yeah. you know because obviously like you don't know when you're never going to have that again yeah. right so i'm learning to be grateful for myself my friends my family my time right and just taking things more slow like enjoying life at the pace that i really wanted it to go to mm-hmm. right because truth be told i've been i've been moving too fast yeah right so i'm just like i'm 22 i gotta take things a little slower you know and like learn to enjoy the present journey than living in the future yeah, yeah. That's my little tidbit. It, it like it like grounds you a bit, yeah. In a sense, right? Like when you realize the actual shit that goes around, like even w- without knowing it, like you'll be, for example, like I, at the time that my dad was going through cancer, um, like I remember him telling me what it was like being in a hospital, going to do chemo and radiation, mm-hmm. all that stuff. Uh, and like doing all these tests and body scans and he told me like that there was at one point where you're just kind of like walking through this hallway and it's a bunch of other people in this waiting room and you you know that everybody is dealing with what you're dealing with Mm -hmm. and then when they would like sit you in for i don't know if it was a body scan or for what it was um but he had to put into this thing um like it was almost like a a tube thing, and mm. he kind of just laid his body in, and they would put him through. Oh, um, CT scan, I think something, something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sorry if for not knowing no, you get terminology it. or whatever, but um, and he remembers like he would have to sit there for like twenty to thirty minutes of just like don't move. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't eat nothing. You can't yeah. say nothing. Whatever. Um, and then he just remembered thinking like, oh my god, it's like I'm in my coffin. Like I'm in like I'm like just waiting to die yeah right and then all these thoughts of like cancers and seeing all these and he, j- he just r- he told me like he felt like it was in a movie mm-hmm. he felt like it was in a whole different world because he's seeing all these other people suffering yeah and that's also with him dealing with cancer as well yeah. so imagine like putting that into pr- perspective like you're worried about like or not worried i guess necessarily but like you're kind of like feeling a lot of empathy for all these other people that mm. are dealing with it while you're also dealing with it. Yeah. Like it really puts into perspective, like, shit could be a lot worse. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and for sure, like, I guess you can't really, like, have a debate. I mean, you can. But you can't really say, like, what's what's worse or what's yeah not worse. But I can tell you, having a small issue about, like, I don't know, not knowing what to eat today mm-hmm. is a small fucking issue. It is. It <laughs> is. It's a small issue. Or, yeah. like, being called a name mm-hmm. versus actually like being you know like mistreated really really badly it's yeah so it's, there's like levels to it almost yeah um and i would rather it be the most minuscule level than mm-hmm. you know it at its yeah. grandest exactly bro i remember in high school like i'd be thinking like yo i got it i got it worse man you know i'm Getting rejected a lot in high <laughs> school and shit. I'm like, yo, man, yo, this shit's so stressful, blah, blah, blah. But now it's like thinking back or thinking back now, it's like, yo, that's a good problem to have yeah. than other shit like hospital wise. Right. right. And it's just like, yeah, man, just learn to be grateful. 
you know, it, it makes you more empathetic and you learn to grow and appreciate a lot more things. Mm-hmm. Right. And you learn to put things more into perspective. So it's like, it doesn't affect you as much because obviously once you think so severely worse of like the problem that you're going through, it's probably not as bad as the person right next door. Yeah. Right. Whatever they're going through. Yeah. Right. So yeah, no, I'm just being like, I'm like in my, I remember texting my friends like in the group chat. I was like, uh, yo, I'm feeling peace, blah, blah, blah. And you guys are like calling me Zen Ken and shit. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, damn, I'm like trying to reach that state of like peace. Yeah. yeah you yeah. know, and just now it's just, I'm like just chilling, yeah. enjoying shit. Hopefully you guys are too. Hopefully whatever problems you guys are going through, like I pray it gets better. Right. You know, cause we're not perfect. We're going through shit. Yeah. True. Right. Yeah. And I'm glad we are, because obviously if we're not going through problems, we're never going to grow. Right. Because I've seen so many people that are just like continuously the same person and going, like going through the same problems, not even fixing it, just like abiding by it or whatever, like diminishing the problem away. And then they're just like, shit. Yeah. You know, it's like I've seen that so many times. Like I don't like chilling with people like you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I never like that where mm. they just kind of like, oh, it's not a big deal or like mm. you know, and just kind of. I don't know. When you're going through stuff, I feel like it's super important to just like lay it out, lay it out on the on the table. Yeah. And really like go through with it and deal with it mm-hmm. instead of just like I guess ignoring it, mm-hmm. dismissing it as yeah. if it's not a big big deal. Mm-hmm. Um I don't know. I I've I feel like that's just like you're you're subconsciously growing it. Yeah. without actually confronting it. No, you that's true. I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, let me ask you this then. What's like the biggest problem that's come to your life that you're grateful that happened? I, I guess it would probably be the my dad with cancer. Mm-hmm. I think it taught me a lot of things. It's weird because it's, <clears throat> it's one of those things where uh, when he died, I remember seeing a lot of, um, and this is a controversial figure, Jordan Peterson mm-hmm. said like, the day that your dad dies, or like the day that your dad's out of your life is the day you become a man, mm-hmm. and I'm I don't know if that's true yet. If I'm a man or mm-hmm. whatever it means to be a man yet, but I know that I'm like I'm th- like getting there. Like I could feel it every day now. Yeah, that's good. It's it's really weird though because like I used to th- say all the time. I still feel like I'm 16. I'm back in <laughs> high school. Like I'm chilling. I'm young. I'm fresh. Mm-hmm. Whatever. But now it's like I'm feeling my age. Mm-hmm. Like it's so weird. Yeah. Because now you see like the levels of difference with like you and like kids in high, like actually yeah. kids in high school. Mm-hmm. Like your brother is in high school. Like I that's know. mind boggling. And mine is about to leave high school. Yeah. Like that's so weird to me. Mm-hmm. So just imagining like we old, bro. Like we're not old, but like we're getting like. We're getting to a space where yeah. we're in a different um mental state. Yeah. yeah. It's so weird. Yeah, like uh last night, uh me and Ian, we ran into one of our old friends, right? And um we're just like catching up, right? Seeing like, oh yo, back in high school we had like a lot of drama, a lot of like bad blood and shit. And then we're just talking it out. It's like, yo, like we were just fucking childish back then. Yeah. You know, I feel like um because we both yeah, we both we were childish, we were immature, we miscommunicated, misunderstanding, a lot of it. Right. So now we're like on good terms. Right, or well, we've been on good terms, but it's, you know now it's like confirmed, yeah. right? And it just reminded me like, yo, a lot. There's some people. It just put me in perspective. Yeah, there's some people that are still living in that high school state, mm. or living in that like, um, you know, just just immature, still childish, yeah. right? And it's like sometimes it's a part of them, and or some, but sometimes they overdo it, yeah. or sometimes they just that's just them. They don't grow from it, yeah. right? And then it just it makes makes me wonder like, are you ever gonna like grow up? Right, like no disrespect or anything, but it's like, yo, like there are some things that you just we just don't do anymore. Like I'm yeah, not there yeah. at the same level that we were back then. Yeah, and it's like I just don't like chilling like like that sometimes. You know, my favorite thing that I noticed of like when I know when I felt like I was starting to mature is like I I don't have any uh, messiness in my life. Mm-hmm. Like I don't. You know how most people are like they try to like get in on what's going on and mm-hmm. who's with who and i really don't keep up with right any of that <laughs> like yeah i don't um like you know how like everyone loves to gossip 
Yeah. Okay, maybe not everyone. I won't say for everyone, but like a lot of Filipinos like to gossip. A lot of people love to gossip. <laughs> and I just found like I found it within myself that like I'm not messaging you or you're not messaging me about like who's with who and who yeah. you see and like, I don't like we don't care. We just like, oh yeah, I just I saw that person or yeah, yeah, this happened. Like I don't care about any of those things. Yeah. Um at all. Like I have a very zen phone. Yeah. There's no noise on it. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's not like I don't have a life. Mm-hmm. No one knows my life. Yeah. So that's like the blissful piece of it all. Mm-hmm. I like to call it like I've been protecting my peace. Yeah, that's it's good. Kind of like keeping it too. Like I, mm-hmm. you know me. I don't even message anymore as much as like I used to, or yeah. like I don't post as much as I used to on socials. Mm-hmm. I remember like post breakup. It's when that's when it gets bad. <laughs> you're just like you're like everybody has to know what i'm doing yeah, today, yeah, yeah. tomorrow the next day because they everyone needs to know that i'm okay yeah i'm living my life mm-hmm. and there is no problems with me yeah now it's like i don't give a damn about yeah. anyone things like mm-hmm. most people like maybe you you might think oh he's not posting is he okay like mm-hmm. is he going through this no i'm chilling like, yeah though, that's literally what it is really what it is all right like i remember uh yo Back in, like, high school and shit, you know, I'd be following a bunch of people, like, within a week, you know, trying to get followers and shit. Now it's, like, I, I, if I meet you in person, I'll follow you. You know, we have a conversation. It's like, oh, yo, let me grab your Instagram. Yeah. Right, just, like, cool conversation. You seem like a cool person. You know, let's just follow each other. And now it's, yeah, that's, like, how literally how I, how I get followers, right? I don't go out of my way to follow people anymore, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, I'm not going to follow her because she's cute. Like, that's kind of <laughs> that's kind of like weird now, you know? I don't, I don't slide in DMs. Like, I'm literally just posting yeah right like I, I a lot of my friends know this they, i just post a post like i don't post for attention or anything like that yeah, yeah. right if i, I only time i do a post sometimes like i like the aesthetic i just want to oh yo, this is cool you know posting just for my my own sake or like i'll post like me in my outfit you know because i think I, I i like it you know let me post it right and yeah but oh speaking of that yeah so i follow my brother on instagram uh. if he you know, if he's watching this i'm sorry do you do you follow my brother I don't think so, no. Okay, but anyways, um, so uh, on my way home, I was on Instagram, I was on his story, clicked on it. He's he's doing the high school posts, yeah, meaning sure. like he has his phone out, he's like walking with his friends and shit, just like him smiling, putting music in the background. I'm just like, this is so high school. Yeah. And in my head, I'm like, my little brother's going through high school. Yeah. I'm just like, yo. And it's just so funny because I'm like, I did that shit. You know, I was pulling all of this shit, man. You, you know what was my favorite thing in high school that everyone did? What? <laughs> it was so funny. Sunset photos. I think Ooh, those were with so With the 11 11? <laughs> <laughs> the 11 11, or it's like they just always have to put the timestamp. Yeah. When they had this beautiful sunset. Oh my God. Or when it was like cotton candy sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just, it was so funny because it was everybody's story. I know. I At know. Point, and you know when. Everyone streaks. Yeah. And then you know what happens? When it's that really one good sunset, everyone's everyone's got it. it. Yeah, even I did it. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> no, but those were uh, those were good times. Man. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, bro. I remember oh, the corniest thing I did. Fuck. So it was back in grade eight, I think. Mm. Um, so when I had Snapchat and shit, I was trying. To, I was like talking to this girl, like one of my classmates at the time or whatever. Okay. Right, and then um, I <laughs> took a picture of the sunset. You know what I said? Mm. The sunset looks just as beautiful as you. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's just, that's just hard. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's me sitting said, fire. Right? I said that to her. I think she said thank you. <laughs> I was like, yes. <laughs> oh, that's oh nice. my God, man. Fuck, the corny shit. Man. man, but I'm glad I did shit like that. You know, it translated to like me doing like better, like an elevated version of that today <laughs> uh that's not as bad as i remember a homie going yo like i was talking to this girl i was like yo your eyes are as pretty as the sky <laughs> like that is, that's beautiful as the blue in the sky the girl replies my eyes are brown you know? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about <laughs> hey man if yo, guys were you saying the dumbest shit hey bro. man but you could have played on to it be like oh sorry i'm colorblind <laughs> 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 bro i i sorry just because we're on this yeah you know, i was i saw this one tiktok right um some dudes on hinge 
and basically like he matches with this girl. First thing he says to her, out of the order, out of anything you could have said, mm. the man says, "My mom is dead." Uh. That that's literally all he, all he says, and then the girl responds three days later, saying like, "For the past three days." I did not know how to respond to this, but I think you're dope. <laughs> and then they dope. got each other's number. That's awesome. <laughs> and dude. I'm just like, that's game. I'm like, what if I just come up to someone and be like, yo, actually, no, nah, I can't even say that, bro. I was too scared for him to say that. Nah, I'm too dude. scared to even say it. Nah, dude. Fuck that shit, bro. I mean, game is game. <laughs> how would you rate your Riz? Very bad. Like out of 10. <sighs> Solid four. That's, that's. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, wow? <laughs> Bro, I'm, I'm a conversationalist. Okay. Uh, a lot of my friends that told me like, yo, you have. The like, podcast for this. They told me I have. <laughs> they told me I have the getting to know you is. I'm just like, yo, that's so fucking accurate. That's so funny. Because I just talk. I like to get to know people. Right. You know, I'm like, oh, I like your vibe. Let's go out. Right. And, you know, (laughs) I'm sorry. I just don't like pickup lines. No one uses pickup. Well, not pickup lines, but I just can't. I'm not like. Smooth. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Plus, okay. But but I just just talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but yeah, my friends tell me I have to get into know your is just because I talk. I just like to talk, you know. And I honestly don't. I I I, I agree with it. So I just I like getting to know you like, d- straight up. You know, I don't I don't know what the formula is. Honestly. I don't know either. I I go for the genuine approach. Mm. That's what I do. I'm just genuine. If and it's like to me, if you don't accept me when I'm genuine, then. It's okay. That all right. What's what's the genuine approach? Like you just be like be, what what how, how did you do it? Like be, before, be honest and nice. Mm. Like what was the first thing you say out of your mouth? Um, <laughs> my my favorite line that I start off with is from my barber Brian, and this worked for him and works for all his friends. Where it was just, oh hey, I didn't mean to catch you at the wrong time. I just wanted to tell you like I thought you were cute and I wanted to get to know you. And it just like it just slides in, mm-hmm. yeah. And it's 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 super calm, super casual. Yeah. If you say it in a common, casual way, if you obviously come up and just go, "Hey, I thought you were cute. I wanted to talk to you." It's like, okay, leave me alone. You've been staring yeah. at me. <laughs> like hey, you're a creep. But it's like if you if you start with a "Hey, I mean, didn't mean to catch you at a, a yeah. bad time." It's like, oh, he's he's nice. <laughs> <laughs> he's nice. He cares. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know, maybe maybe I'll try that one time. Maybe it's great. It's great, and you, it's it's nice to have a friendly face. So mm-hmm. It works. Um, it works for me. When I, okay, every time I've tried it, I I I'm just that's that's me. But you know, I don't know the way I did it last time. Like to that one girl, mm. I was just you know talking to her. We talked about music. Once you talk about music to me, it's like oh, yeah, I'm hooked. I want to get to know you even more now. Oh. But then you know we we found a couple of things out you know. Dip so your to- can not- you dip your toes? We're jumping in the goddamn pool right away every time, bro. I'm dipping my toes. No, I was dipping my toes. Dip the whole foot. You just went straight in. I want to get to know all about you. No, just get to know you as a person. Like be friends. That's yeah. literally it. Like I'm not trying to like I'm not I'm I don't, I'm not trying to jump into a relationship anymore. <laughs> you know, like I'm gonna be yeah. real with that. I'm gonna be oh, real yeah. with that. Yeah, yeah. I think I think. I guess th- this is my own, my own thing. Is if you were to chat up with somebody mm-hmm. and you are trying to get to know them, I think it's important to test out flirtatious energy right away, because I think I feel like there's a there's a window. I feel yeah. like there's a window between. It's like lemon law. Okay, but Lem- what's 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 the lemon law for lemon, those that don't lemon know? law for those of you that don't know? In how may your mother? It's like. Lemon Law is when you're having a date and you know for the first five minutes whether this is going to continue on or not. Um, and I think there's a certain time window, at least for when a guy approaches a girl or vice versa, and you're getting to know each other for the first few minutes. 
within those first few exchanges, there is a window of like whether um, I'll be interested in you or not and you'll be interested in me or not. Mm -hmm. And I think that's super important to introduce a little bit of flirtatious energy. At least that's what I f believe personally. Okay, so what would be like... like uh, obviously, maybe not from the... Like, not everyone has to do it from the get-go. Yeah. But at some point, if you are interested, there has to be some sort of fl flirtatious energy. Otherwise, um, for example, if you came up to a girl and you didn't introduce that flirtatious energy and you were very like, oh, I'm just trying to get to know you, like, then they're thinking, oh, he's friendly. Mm -hmm. Because you're friendly. Thank you. <laughs> but if it's like he's nice and he's like f a little forward and knows what he yeah. wants and is interested in me, that's to me I feel like more attractive that that's that like an attractive um trait for mm -hmm. me to even be interested. Yeah. For a girl to be interested. Mm -hmm. You know? And if there's no flirtatious energy, it's like I got the hint. Yeah. I don't yeah. need to we don't need to do the whole like uh clarification. If you're not reciprocating, got it. Yeah. Noted. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Sorry. This episode was supposed to be like gratitude and shit. Hey, man. <laughs> I'm grateful for this all my goddamn experiences <laughs> that led me to this this moment right here oh, to explain yo. that to you. You know, you know, spill this shit to like one of our friends, Lee. Oh. Lee, if you hear this. Yo, listen up, Lee. <laughs> yeah, 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 yo, me and Ian were talking about it last night. We're just like, yo, we we need to let we need to get Lee, yeah, at least to attempt, yeah, you know, not that he hasn't, yeah, right, but it's like we're trying to make him right, go, right, boom. right, 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 you know, because that's out of love to me, to me, like, um, you know, every everyone has their own like, um, their own way of doing it and whatnot, which is, I get that, um, and then there's other people that just believe like. It won't happen to them because they're not good looking enough yeah. or they're not this. Whatever oh. ideal of look that is in your head, people make excuses for it. That was me. But really, it is your personality that kicks in the door. Yeah. Are you interesting enough? Mm -hmm. Do you, can you make her laugh? Mm -hmm. You know, are you... And being, to me, the genuine approach is such an important one. Mm -hmm. Because, well, at least that's just because my intentions are... Genuine. Yeah. There's a lot of people that like, they're not as genuine and that's totally fine mm -hmm. for what you want. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I personally want a girlfriend. So it's yeah. like, I, I wouldn't want to introduce any ideas that aren't mm -hmm. like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I get that. I get so that. So that's why if, if, you know, if you're put it, throwing your hat in the ring, <sighs> just letting you know that's the way to go, buddy. I mean, I am just maybe not in Toronto right now. <sighs> <laughs> I mean, I get that. I mean, you never know. You never maybe, know. Maybe, maybe you're just looking in the wrong spots, bro. If I'm be honest. Uh, anyway, yeah, yeah. yeah maybe you know, maybe. right now, no. But I'm trying to like, not uh, trying to do things that are within a person that I'd want. You know what I mean? Solid. Like go to places that are that I'd want to like. Yes, to meet know? that person. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so not the club you. anymore. Yeah. yeah, I mean, look, you went to the the art gallery alone. <laughs> yeah, yo, okay, <laughs> like there was it's, like it was a nice exhibit though, right? It was I, nice. It was I think nice. it was the last last month. So it was, mm, like, nice. yeah, I went to the yeah Wolfgang Timmel was amazing. I was just there, just chilling, and I was like, random thought. I'm like, yo, what if like I, I meet the the a girl here, you know? Yeah. And then, I mean, there were a couple like you know other people that were there alone. Mm -hmm. I saw a grandma. Hey, man. I was like, should I talk to her? <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't want to, I didn't, because you know, you know the episode in How I Met Your Mother where like Barney's like losing his sight, so he's gonna like, he's trying to pick up a girl in the AGO or like the art gallery. He's like, I'm losing my sight. I'm trying to see the blind, see the beauty of art before I lose my sight. I thought of that. I'm like, you a grad. <laughs> <laughs> but bro, oh my God. But yo, I was, I was being followed by the security guard. Why? Dude, I don't even know. Why were you being followed by security? Yo, so I went to the, the cause, ex the small free cause exhibit. Yeah. Right? It's like in this little part of AGO. Cause it's, I went when it wasn't to the public yet. Mm -hmm. Right? So then um, I'm, you know, waiting for uh these workers to just, like, because they're just like on their break to take pictures. I'm just waiting for them to like get out of the space so I can like go. Yeah. So I go 
And then I'm like getting closer to the, the sculpture, right? And it's like taking pictures of it. I'm like, yo, man, this is like high school me, like would have loved the fuck out of this. Then yeah. security just comes around. It's like, he's like near me in my vicinity. I'm just like, okay. I go to the other side. He goes to the other side. Yeah. It's like, bro, mind you, I'm, I'm dressing in like my slacks, my loafers, yeah. and like a white tee. I don't look like I'm going to do anything. Right. I walk away to the other side and he's like, still kind of following me as soon as i exit out of the free cause exhibit he just stops i'm just like all the other girls all, all the other people in that exhibit with me just girls i'm like i'm not gonna do shit bro like what's wrong with you Damn, bro. in my head i'm like man i want to do something just so i can like fight you right now <laughs> but i'm like if i do that i'm gonna get fined and i don't have the money for that so let's not do that yeah but uh, it, it, like, it like cheese me like you ruined the cause exhibit for me the small free one right it's like, man, I was trying to enjoy it yeah oh, so that whatever. security guard bro fuck that dude <laughs> fuck that dude bro That's literally hilarious. I was just there listening to jazz music too yeah like I was you can't you, you even my music is loud yeah but even if it was loud you'd be you'd hear what I'd be hearing hey man you know what just just let him be maybe that was the most entertaining part of his job the whole day was following you. Damn, I probably had a fan. <laughs> it's like this guy's from the booth. <laughs> I mean, let me be close to him. If you if he is, fuck you. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Bro, that'd be insane. What an interesting turn of events for this episode. We went from talking about gratitude, being grateful for your life, to, to how we would ask out our crush. Yeah, yeah, an interesting one. Somehow it always circulates back to love. So, you know, it's not, you guys get it's like, like we say, it's not the booth podcast without talking about love. Always. It mm-hmm. always isn't. Um, but we always, we hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Mm-hmm. As always, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Again, the campaign for my film is still live and will be live for a couple of weeks, I believe. Mm-hmm. So go ahead and contribute as much as you want, whatever you want, and Perks, again, up to you. Um, link is in the description below. Link is in my Instagram bio as well. To know more about the story, also follow those links. Um, anything left for you, Ken? Um, no, not really. I mean, just stay tuned for a couple more weeks, guys. We have some shit in the making. Yes. You know, so hopefully get that out to you guys soon. You know, just be, just wait. Just, just wait be a aware. Just, yeah, just that's, that's all I'm going to leave it at. Yeah. But uh, let, me, let me leave you guys with the question of the day, I guess. Is, um, what are you most grateful for in your life? Comment down below because we want to know. And then I guess another question is, <laughs> how? <laughs> what's your go-to, or how do, how do I word this? Like, how would you raise a girl? <laughs> <laughs> you say it, you say it. What, what would be your first move when approaching your crush? Help the guys out in the comments, or even the girls. You know, yeah. I I feel yeah. like they need it right now. Yeah, you know, it's it's scouting season right now. Yeah. All right, because yeah. coming is club coming up. Yeah, so yep. funny. But yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoy. Have a good night, good morning, good evening, wherever you guys are. And yeah, that's been the booth. Peace. Peace.